हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल दिस इज चेलसी टॉक एंड यू आर वॉचिंग डेली चेलसी न्यूज वी हैव गॉट लॉट्स टू कवर टू डे इन दिस वीडियो काय हैवर्स एंड मेसन माउंट ऑफ फाइटिंग चेलसी रिलीज द न्यू थर्ड किट एंड मेनी मोर थिंग्स टू गो थ्रू सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द वीडियो चेलसी हैव फाइनली रिलीज द थर्ड किट एंड इट्स ऑफुल इट्स ऑफुल इट्स आउट ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड बट इन अ बैड वे इट्स वेरी वेरी बैड लुकिंग I will not buy this kit this year for sure maybe the home kit but not this third kit for sure and many people agree with me many people think this is the worst kit we have had in years and we have had some very bad kits to be honest even crystal palace trolled us hard on twitter and it's not a london thing it's a crystal palace thing we just copied them it's nothing new and it's shambolic to be honest write down in the comments below if you like the third kit or not or whether will you buy it this season or you will skip it and go for the first kit home kit or the away kit instead now let's go to the supposed fight between kai havertz and mason mount which christian falk started on twitter Although he is a respected journalist he gets a lot of things right he gets a lot of things wrong too don't believe everything you see on social media people are there to spread negativity and i'm pretty sure falk lost a lot of followers because of this tweet it is clarified by mason mount's father himself that it's just bullshit and mason mount is not unhappy because of havertz coming to chelsea or he's not angry because of havertz coming to chelsea he's a academy player he told in an interview with daily mail that he will stay here he will fight for his place and he is not afraid of anybody anybody in this world it doesn't matter if there are 60 million pound signings 70 million pound signings or 80 million pound signings he will stay at the club and fight for his place and trust me this boy is going places because i know i see the attitude he has he has the potential he will succeed for sure at chelsea remember the same thing happened with frank lampard in 2003 roman abramovich came in he bought so many players he bought so many superstars but lampard was determined he succeeded at the club he became a club legend and perhaps the most important player in our club's history Mason Mount is a good boy he's a talented lad and I'm pretty sure he's on his way to the top alongside Kai Havertz the person who will be angry is Ross Barkley he will not get any game time and I'm pretty sure he will be or should be sold out or loaned out to get some money back into the club Now let's move on to some transfer news. Reports say that Edward Mendy is very very close to signing for Chelsea. He will sign in a deal worth 30 million euros which in my opinion is justifiable for the keeper. We paid 72 million euros for Kepa Erzabalaga. We can at least pay 30 million euros for a better keeper than him. I know he plays in the French league but he's quite good. He's quite tall. His reflexes are very sharp his cross collection is quite good and I'm pretty sure he will repay the price between the stakes for Chelsea by being better than Kepa not at the Thibaut Courtois level I suppose but being way way better than Kepa and then we can reinvest the money next season on someone else on bringing another keeper a better a superb keeper someone like Jan Oblak back to the club it's not confirmed that he's coming but reports say that it's very very close edward mendy will sign sooner or later but we have signed a new goalkeeper it's 17 year old teddy shernam lau from burton albion from the footage i have seen of him of five or six minutes there's not a lot of uh, things available because burton albion don't play in a higher league there's not a lot of footage available but he seems like a nice goalkeeper his passing is quite nice his distribution of play is quite nice his reflexes are quite nice there are some lacking of strength and some other areas too but he can improve with time he's still young he's still 17 years old 
and will train with the Chelsea under 18s and under 23s this season and try to improve himself and climb up the ladder. Frank Lampard also wants to sell Jorginho so that he could get in transfer funds for Declan Rice. He does not like the player's playing style and he thinks that Declan Rice is better suited than Jorginho in the team. And I told you already, Lampard loves the boy. Lampard wants Rice at the club and is willing to sell Jorginho to another club so that they could get some transfer funds in for Declan Rice. If a club wants to buy Jorginho, I think it will cost them between 30 to 40 million euros because although he's not a part of a Chelsea setup, he can improve the other teams drastically. His ball control is quite good. His passing is not too bad either. And in a team like Manchester City, he would fit in perfectly with Pep Guardiola's philosophy. And he's better suited to them than Rodri. So hopefully he goes somewhere else and Chelsea get in Declan Rice instead of him. That would be an amazing transfer window. Write down in the comments below if you think Jorginho has a future at Chelsea or he should be sold and Declan Rice should be bought in. That's it for now guys. Thank you so so much for watching and thank you so much for all the support on the channel. We are so close to hitting 1500 subs. We are almost more than halfway there. And let's just hit it. Let's just hit 1500 subs. Tell your friends, tell everyone, tell every Chelsea fan you know about this channel so you get daily Chelsea news at your YouTube feed. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.